Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. I'm your host Andrea Williams and this morning we're here on Milwaukee's beautiful lakefront getting you prepared for all the excitement that happens here at Henry Meyer Festival Park each and every year. Milwaukee's not called the city of festivals for nothing. Everywhere you turn there's music, food and culture being celebrated throughout the summer and some of the biggest festivals happen right here on the Summerfest grounds. My next guest is Klaus Fromm. He's the president and festival director for German Fest. Yes. Also, Tamara Olivas, she is the PR director for Mexican Fiesta, and we also have the pleasure of being joined by Mr. Mark Denning. He is a member of the board for Indian Summer Festival. It is a pleasure to have you all here. Thank you so much for your time. And let's kick things off talking about Milwaukee's original house party. Yeah, that's German <laughs> Fest. For, that's our 34th year. Of wow. And we do have some, we have two special uh, activities going on this year. Mm -hmm. First of all, on Friday, it's free admission for everybody, saying thank you to the uh, members of the armed forces. Everybody who is in the military and all of the other guests have free admission. Wow. That's an opportunity to say, to say thank you for, for what they have done in uh, the past years mm -hmm. and what uh, some of the conflicts are still going on. Yeah. Plus, we do have... Uh, the Jams on Tap going, a concert series. It's the first time we're doing this, uh -huh. and that's going to be at the uh, BMO stage. And on Friday night, we have the Three Dog Nights with the, uh, and the opening act for the Three Dog Nights is the Five Car Start. Then on Saturday, we have at 2 o'clock the uh, show, it's the Ottawa Legend Show, where the entertainers uh, sing songs from the Bruce Brothers, from uh, Buddy Holly. Johnny Cash, so oh. that's going to be interesting for everybody <laughs> to attend. And in the evening we have the uh, Brett Michael Show. Mm -hmm. And the opening for the Brett Michael Show is uh, done, uh, the uh, I'm Not a Pilot, it's also a local band that's uh, performing for that one. A lot of good stuff. Yes, and then on Sunday we have at uh, 1.30 we have the Philharmonics performing the Strauss concert, that's going to be an hour and a half concert. And then in the evening we have the Plain White Tea Band. Okay. And the opening act for that one is Vic and Gab. Gab. The Plain White Tea Band. Plain I like White that. Tea. <laughs> <laughs> that's very and that's catchy. a rock band. And we figured uh, the reason why we're having these concerts is to entice some of the people who've never been at German Fest, mm -hmm. come down here, enjoy the concerts, and then see what they have been missing for the past 34 years. Aha, uh -huh. so you're adding a little okay. flavor right. from other cultures and <laughs> bringing everybody in right. on the fun. That's what it's all about. And that's in addition to the, our regular uh, bands, which we have the Chikaria Band is coming back, mm -hmm. which is a very popular band here in, uh, in Wisconsin. We also have a new band coming back from uh, Florida, and that's called the Alex Meissner Band. Both of my show bands, and then our regular normal bands, which are performing during the year here in Wisconsin. Klaus, I don't know how you keep up with it all, but he does, doesn't he? I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about a little more of what you're sure. bringing. Yeah. But we're going to move over to Tamara. She is uh, representing Mexican Fiesta, and it's taking place August 22nd through the 24th. And you celebrate the sound, culture, and taste of Mexico and other Latin American countries. So, Correct. what do we have? To look forward to this year? Well, uh, we as well have, I, w I want to start with saying that we have open admission. We're going to have free admission for general public the opening day. So okay. Friday, noon to three, everybody can, uh, can come in and uh, not pay admission, which is always nice. You get to uh, spend yeah. your money and food <laughs> and drinks once you're in. Uh, we're going to have as well Saturday and Sunday, we have admission for veterans and active military people mm -hmm. as well as disability people, I would say refer to our Facebook page and our web page because the times vary for every day, but we do have them available. And uh, really excited to start uh, getting ready and prepping up for Mexican Fiesta this year. We do have the traditional things. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the chili eating contest again. <laughs> <laughs> we have the car show that brings a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, of course, the, the traditional sounds that you're used to hearing at Mexican Fiesta. We have 
the bachata, we have the salsa, we have the music from the north, La Norteña, and we also have, of course, the mariachi, which I think represents Mexico very well. But this year, we're really excited to let everybody know that all three days, we're going to have three mariachi bands on stage at the same time. Wow. So you can imagine <laughs> the sound yeah, and yeah. how loud that is going to get. So I invite everybody to come and really experience that and get that those good goosebumps on your <laughs> on your skin when you see them play. Um, we are really excited as well. We're going to have the, the uh, walk for obesity and diabetes again this mm -hmm. year, which I think brings awareness for not only the Hispanic community, but everybody in the community. And uh, of course, the very, I would say now traditional tequila tent, uh -oh. where you have- That's a, where the trouble where begins. <laughs> a, a little bit doesn't, doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> Everything with discretion, uh, but you have the opportunity to sample and taste the differences between the tequilas because they're not the same. Uh -huh. So it's important that you have that opportunity to try one, two, or three tequilas and notice there's difference in between them. So we're going to have very that as small well. doses, yeah. right? <laughs> very small doses and we're also this year I'm really happy to let everybody know that uh, we're gonna have an art exhibition as well this year and it's mm -hmm. going to be the very traditional piñata okay. so we're going to have uh, over 15 huge pin uh, piñatas exhibit uh, right at the entrance of Mexican Fiesta and I think it's one of those things that represents Mexico as well very very well very well and all of this is just excitement in itself you've got a huge concert that's scheduled on open opening night at the BMO Harris stage and uh that's one of the biggest stages here, so you're expecting a lot of people. We are expecting a lot of people, and uh, Los Tigres del Norte, it's coming to Mexican Fiesta. It's a band, that well-known band from Mexico all over the state. So mm -hmm. we're hoping to bring people not only from Milwaukee, but people from all around the state to come and see uh, Los Tigres del Norte play. There it is, looking forward to it. And mm -hmm. Indian Summer, you're going to be, is this the 28th year? It is. The 28th yes. year, kicking off September 5th through the 7th so right when things are starting to cool off just a little bit but if we're lucky this year to remain hot <laughs> So, I think um, it will. That's why we call it Indian Summer. Yeah, that is what. Yeah, that is what it's That's all right. about. So, uh, it became uh, the largest American Indian celebration of its kind in this country. It's pretty amazing. What can we look forward to from Indian Summer Festival? Well, for us, we're really excited about this year because we're going to be doing a Horse Nation celebration. Okay. And there's a lot of things that are going on in the news today about American Indians, what with mascots and logos, uh -huh. and with feathers being used in fashion and so on. And one of the great things about ethnic festivals from German Fest and Mexican Fiesta is there are opportunities for moms and dads to come on our grounds and learn directly from us. Mm -hmm. as individuals and people and celebrate our culture and be a, a family friendly event and we're really looking forward to, to doing a good job for everybody. Friday we're going to kick things off uh, with the education day okay. and we invite schools, Milwaukee Public Schools, all the schools surrounding area that can possibly get children on the grounds. We let them be here with us. We let them learn about us from us. We're only 2% of the population so when someone has a chance to learn from a native person that's pretty neat. Yeah. And it's also, when I look at these grounds and I think about that being our 28th year, I also reminded we've been here for 10,000 years. Absolutely, and that's what I was saying earlier during the first segment. That's what makes all of these festivals so very special. And when you look at the history of Milwaukee itself, with all of the native names, there is a rich history of uh, Native Americans that have built this to what it is today. I know one of the things that we share with Mexican Fiesta and German Fest in history, at least, is one of the featured deals that we're going to be doing this year is boxing. Mm -hmm. And there are some great German boxing clubs that came out of <laughs> Milwaukee, you may remember. Certainly Latino boxers from Central, South, and America, United States today. And American Indians have a rich history of boxing, and we're going to have an active ring with, ring with Olympic-style boxing this year. And you know what? That Olympic-style boxing was pretty close to outdrawing our powwow, our ethnic dancing. Wow. And we're looking for, forward to more. So yeah. if there's any young men out there that want to come out and box, 
we got a place for you. Okay, and they've got plenty of time to get themselves themselves together. September 5th through the 7th is right. Indian Summer Festival. And uh, some of the things that you guys will be focusing on is the Native Fashion Show. You have fireworks on Saturday. And as you mentioned, the Olympic boxing, which is a huge deal. But um, with the culture, you talked about the powwow, and you sometimes hear people say the last powwow. And with the festivals, this really is the last powwow because before we get into the kind of a cooler temperature. So uh, you've got a lot of competition and demonstrations dealing specifically with powwows. Explain what that is. Uh, specifically our gathering of, it's an international gathering really. If someone looks at a map of Wisconsin, uh, certainly they're gonna see different nations. Mm -hmm. So we look at it as an international event where people of different heritages come with different regalia. People come in with uh, songs that are very special and unique to us. And we're out there dancing and we invite everybody to come and dance with us. Along with it, it's not just about American Indian dancing and, and having a great time, which is part of it. We also have a lacrosse tournament that's going outside the gates that's absolutely free for people to take in. Mm -hmm. We got some uh, traditional dwelling that's gonna be right across the area that hikers and walkers are gonna take a look at. And we also have a guy <laughs> An Elvis guy coming in as our main <laughs> act, and I'm kind of looking forward to how that's going to go. Because <laughs> I think Germans got their Elvis. I, I think your festival might have an Elvis walking around, but we're going to have ours right All right. Stage. Looking forward to it all. Quickly, before we run out of time, uh, Klaus, you guys have your run walk that's coming up yeah, soon. It's going to be us. on Friday. It starts at 7 o'clock. Registration is right outside the South Gate here. Uh -huh. And that's going to be the St. Ben's run up for the hungry. And we've been doing this now for over 10 years. Mm -hmm. So anybody on Friday is free admission anybody, anyhow. Right. Otherwise I would have said anybody is attending the run has free admission. And uh, the run is uh, going to be a 5K run and a 2K walk. Okay. And it, like I said, it start, also starts on the south end here. And I should mention that German Fest, it's July 25th through the 27th, the 27th. here on the Summerfest grounds. And Mexican Fiesta on August 23rd, you've got your walk run for wishes in August 24th, the Fiesta Walk, and people are going to have to go to the website to find out more information. We're quickly running out of time, but that's what happens when you have good information, right. right? Okay, and as we wrap up, you tell us about uh, how important the horse is uh, with the Indian culture. I'm from Kentucky, and right. so we love horses in a whole nother way, so uh, in, yeah, explain. In keeping with those runs and walks, part of our Indian heritage and, and history goes back thousands of years but there's something about our culture that wants to give back and we have a, a run walk for autism and our gift to that is bringing in horses where we talk about the use of horse called therapy horses mm -hmm. and helping families that have autism because horses are so finely tuned to the human spirit that they can be a part of that healing process we're also going to be talking about the use of horses in healing with veterans and we're really excited about that one because our young men and those young guys coming home anything we can get to them and there's a gift from our culture around that kind of thing and horses can help out we want to let them know about it because not a lot of people know horses are originally from right here on this continent. Oh, there you have it. Thank you all so it was much. A pleasure. Wish Thank we you. had more time, but they can go to your respective websites and find out more information. Thank you all for being here Thank today. You. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you here on the Summer Fest grounds. Klaus Fromm is the president and festival director for German Fest. Tamara Olivas, she's PR director for Mexican Fiesta, and Mark Denning is a member of the board for Indian Summer Festivals. You can log on to MilwaukeeWorldFestival.com for details on all of the festivals. And that is going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you here on the Summerfest grounds for all the fun and excitement. Have a great day.